Well, the Merseyside derby had all the drama. It finished 2-2. But let's start, Shaka Hislop, by talking about the goal that wasn't, that would have won it for Liverpool, that was denied by VAR. Jordan Henderson thought that he'd scored the winner, but it wasn't. What did you make of the decision? Well, it, it seemed a very close one. On, on first look, you, you thought that Manny was, was just about on, if not even. And then a closer look, and they do this little small dotted line. Um, that they do. I, I thought we'd seen the last of that and it showed uh, Manny to be off by, by just a hair. So it was, it was harsh on Liverpool. Um, listen, technology points, points to, to the fact that, that he was off, if even by a little. That's how the law is written up. It doesn't make any, any um, allowances for being offside by a little or being offside by a lot. So VAR say Pickford's blushes there because I, I thought um, uh, Jordan Pickford would have had a few questions to answer, despite having a good, a very good game up to that point. Well, let's talk a little bit about Jordan Pickford because how do you look back on that game? I mean, he was lucky to be on the pitch, surely, but then yeah. the two goals could he have really done anything about those? And he did come up when he needed to make the saves. Yeah, no, he, he couldn't have done anything about the two goals um, that 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 stood for for Liverpool. That that's without question. Uh, I thought he made a couple of very good saves as well during the course of the game um, and, and looked solid throughout. But aside from that goal uh, or that goal in, in injury time, there was the incident with, with Virgil van Dijk very early on, what was it, 10 minutes, um, where without question, and even though the linesman's flag went up, and even if Bar said that uh, Virgil van Dijk was offside, I thought that was dangerous play. And, and he, he should have seen red. The only way he does not see red there is, is if Van Dyke is, on, is onside and the referee kind of weighs it up and is, is a little bit lenient in awarding a penalty and, and, and a yellow. That's the only way you, you get away with, with, with that. But the fact that Van Dyke is, is offside, a penalty can't be given, you, you have no excuse, either from uh, the referee's point of view on the field or particularly from VAR who reviewed the incident in looking for offside. How you watch that over and over and not see that as reckless, not see that as dangerous and endangering an opponent and worthy of a red is, is simply beyond me. Well, Richarlison wasn't so lucky in his red card, but Thiago was lucky to not come away worse off in that challenge, wasn't he, Shaka? Yeah, he was. Again, that was, that was a potential leg breaker from, from Richarlison, who had grown increasingly frustrated as, as the game went on. Again, he, he, had, he had a very good claim for a penalty himself with, with a ball from Hammers on the right, and uh, he was impeded um, uh, at, at, the, at the far post. Uh, and though he got his, his header away, again, on, on review, that could have been interpreted differently. So uh, I think it was Robertson had a, had a hold of his shoe. That could have been interpreted differently. But VAR, oh, the referee didn't call it. VAR didn't, didn't intervene. And Richarlison's frustrations just grew as the game went on, spilling out into that challenge uh, on Thiago. But you're, you're right. Again, Key, on, on another D, we could be talking a, a, about a, a player being out for an extended period of, of, of time, which we may very well be with, with Van Dijk. We wait to see what, what comes of of his uh, of of that challenge on him and and what the physios say going forward. Let's get to the goal scorers. Liverpool did twice go ahead. Sadio Mane back in the squad, back on the score sheet, and Mo Salah marking his hundredth goal for Liverpool in style. Talk to me about those two goals. Fantastic goals. Everything about them. The first in terms of if Liverpool's play and how they control the ball, how well they move it. And, and you see exactly how important Sadio Mane continues to be for Liverpool. Let's remember, he was missing uh, for that game against Aston Villa. A, a wonderful finish. And the second from Mo Salah is just typical Mo Salah. I, I, I'm not sure that there are many players in the league, that there are many players in, in world football make that look as easy. The ball uh, comes out, cleared by the defender, comes at Mo Salah very quickly. And he very coolly, almost nonchalantly, smashes this with, with, with his left into the bottom corner. That made, made how difficult that skill is look ridiculously simple. And Everton twice found the reply through two men that have really stood out under Carlo Ancelotti. 
Michael Keane, and then that man again, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Both of them were headers, but Dominic Calvert-Lewin's header was brilliant. The way he jumped up to score that one and get the equaliser was great, wasn't it? Yeah, they certainly were. I, I, I thought Keane's header was was very good indeed. Uh, but then Calvert-Lewin was, was even better. And what a season he's had. I think we were all taken aback when you saw Calvert-Lewin's dad's post on social media after he scored for the England national team. And, and you, you, regardless of whether you're a Calvert-Lewin fan or not, whether you're an Everton fan or not, you understand some of the, the pain and the pride that, that his dad continues to feel around Calvert-Lewin and, and his, his, his exploits. And you see that header. And again, whether you're a Calvert-Lewin or an Everton fan, you have to appreciate how difficult that skill was, how easy he made it look, and the kind of form that he's been in. Um, it, it really was a fantastic header uh, from a player in form on, on, um, on, under a lot of pressure, which, again, somehow he made it look simple, somehow he made it look routine when it is anything but. What's your overall feeling about the 2-2 result then, Shaka? Do you think that's a fair result or do you think Liverpool have been hard done by with some of the decisions we saw there? I thought Liverpool were very hard done by. I thought they were the better team over, over the course of 90 minutes. Um, I, I thought two glaring errors, uh, well, one glaring error by, by VAR early on um, cost them and you wondered if they would, would, they would snatch the three points regardless right to the death. Um, I, I, I'm not a big fan of these hairline decisions, but that's how the law is written and, and that's how it, it continues to, to be applied. But without question, once you go back and, and review that, that Pickford challenge on, on Virgil van Dijk, I, I'm not sure how anybody interprets that as anything but a red card. Everton down to 10 men for, for 18 minutes and, and Liverpool already won the luck of the time. There's only one way that, that game was going to go. So uh, Liverpool have to feel that, uh, that, that two points were, were cruelly snatched away from them. So it is still 10 years since Everton last beat Liverpool in the Merseyside derby, but they picked up an important point against them today. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.